Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to rotate the screen on the Nova Blast. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the bezel. The bezel has four screws on each corner. So that's what I'm doing there. On, on mine, I just have uh, the top two screws uh, hooked up. Um, just because I don't, I didn't feel there was a need to have all four screws. But um, you're, you're going to have four screws that you're going to have to remove. So once you do that, uh, one thing I realized, this, this, is the, this is the first time that I've ever done this. So what I'm doing here is I realize that um, the bezels, uh, you know, it's it's in there really well. So without breaking the the plexiglass, you're going to want to open up the back panel so that you can push the bezel out uh, to to be able to get a hold of it so that you can pull out the the entire bezel. If you try to like you know pry it out with a screwdriver or something like that, you'll you know you could break that uh, the, the plexiglass. So don't you don't want to do that. So the easiest thing to do is just to open up the back panel and, and push out the bezel from behind. And there's the bezel, I mean, there's the panel right there. On each side of that, uh, the mounting uh, bracket, there's five screws per side. So there's a total of 10 screws that you have to remove. And um, what I discovered, you know, once I was installing it again, is like, uh, I think you're good with just four screws, two on the top, two on the bottom, but uh, you do have 10 screws. So you will have to remove all those 10 screws at this point. I'm trying to like get a feel for the panel and, and how it's removed. The cool thing is, is that you don't, um, once you remove the screws, the panel's not gonna flip out or fall out. It's, so it's, it's set in place really well. And even it, with this, I'm still trying to figure things out. Like, okay, well, what's my strategy? How am I gonna pull this out? Um, again, I was still just trying to figure all that out. Now, one thing to note is once you open up the rear panel, uh, I would advise that you remove or unplug the audio cable. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Yeah, that's, I didn't do that. And it just plucked itself out. The good news is though, is that I didn't hurt anything. So it did just unplug itself. Uh, but I was a little worried after I'd done that. Uh, so now I'm just putting the panel back in. What I did is I rotated it counterclockwise and I set it back into its, uh, uh, the bracket. And again, the same thing here is that once you set it in place, it holds the the panel um, so you don't have to worry about it flipping out or falling out or flopping around and uh, you can align the holes really easily so that's what I'm doing now is, is uh, screwing everything back in and I did end up uh, screwing back all 10 screws but again I don't think you really need to uh, once you get your bezel you know put it back these uh, bezels are very delicate like uh, they, they attract dust it's really easy to attract dust so once I took it off and put it on I wanted to make sure that I didn't have anything, any particles or dust or anything on both sides or on the inside for sure, because that would bug the hell out of me. So I'm just using a little, uh, uh, it's not a microfiber cloth, I think it's like a nanofiber. You want to be really careful what you use. I'm actually going to look into that to find out what the best materials are to uh, clean this. Um, and once I do, I'll probably do a video to show you how to do that. But yeah, you're just putting everything back in place. You're going to have those four screws again. You're going to want to put those back in. and. Um, once you do that, I have the rear, uh, the, the back panel um, there on the on my little uh, chair. You'll want to put that back in place, and then uh, you're good to go. It's it's really easy. But again, I'm just wiping things down, just making sure everything's dust free and uh, clean, looking good. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, put your screws back on to your bezel, and uh, you're good to go. It took me probably a total of 10 minutes. That's because I didn't know what I was doing. I imagine. Uh, from now on, it probably wouldn't be more than five or six minutes, but uh, that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, the last part of it is just going to be showing the Nova Blast in action, actually, in tape mode. But uh, enjoy the video, and as always, uh, we'll see you next time, and thank you for watching.
presented by Hayes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.